Uh, hey guys, how are you? This is Ernest Bonifaz Makulilo, EBM, and I'm here today to talk about coronavirus in Africa. There are a few things I want to share with you, and this is my personal opinion. So the disclaimer of this message, I'm not expert in any type of medical, uh, medical care. I'm not expert in coronavirus in particular. I'm just a concerned person. Just want to share something about coronavirus. And just to make sure that we are all on the same page, to make sure that we take seriously about this disease. Welcome everyone. This is EBM and this is EBM Scholars Show. So this disease is very serious. We don't need to find uh, nuclear science education or understanding that this is a very deadly disease around the world and we have seen how many people have been infected daily and how many people are dying dead daily for instance yesterday alone in the in italy 368 people died due to coronavirus and remember italy is one among the advanced countries in the medical care so just assume if the disease can kill almost 368 a day in Italy, the country with the highest level of medical facilities, technology, scientists, money, everything you can imagine, but people are still dying. How many people died in China? How many people are still dying in China, US, Spain now? All these countries is no joke, it's a very serious disease. And I'm saying this one is very serious disease because. I have a message for my colleagues in Africa. We, yes, we, are, we, we, we started about this disease with a wrong perception. We started with a wrong perception that this, is, this disease cannot touch any black person. I don't know who came with that unnecessary thinking that the coronavirus cannot just catch any black person. There is no relationship between the race of a person or melanin, whatever you, may, you mention, with the coronavirus. There is no that way. Whether you are black, white, yellow, green, whatever, you will get coronavirus. As long as you, you just get in contact with a person with this disease, you are going to get it. So there is no exception. And now we have seen people in America, for instance, black Americans, uh, we have seen so many uh, NBA players, we have seen soccer players in England and other countries who are black. Now they have the disease, and now the disease is in Africa. Now the disease is in Algeria, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Democratic Republic of Congo, Egypt, Tunisia, Nigeria, Senegal, Kenya, Tanzania, Togo, all these countries, Rwanda, whatever, they have all these cases of coronavirus. So now it's in Africa, so there is no exception. So forget about the concept about coronavirus is only for white people or Chinese, Asian, whatever. It's for everyone. There is no exception in the disease. Now I, I, I started hearing people in the WhatsApp groups, oh, uh, we can get it, but we are not going to die. Trust me. If you can die of malaria, if you can die about cholera, if you can die with the uh, flu, what makes exception for you not to die? Whether... You are black, whether you are white, whether you are Asian, whether you are blue, pink, yellow, whatever color you are, if you get caught, you don't have good immune, you don't get good medical care, you are going to say rest in peace because of this disease is a very serious way. So let's be serious Africans on this issue. Forget about it. this disease is going to give exception to black people. There is no that. We have proved that everyone can get sick. But now we still joke, so many jokes about the disease. People are not taking seriously. So in taking seriously, starting with a personal responsibility. If you don't have any unnecessary movement, stay at your home. Public transportation, I know it is one of the major transportation in in Africa, we depend much on public transportation. So that means if you're using public transportation, whether it will be Uber, whether it will be, uh, will be Boda Boda, motorcycle, whether you are using the Bajaj, those, uh, uh, th th uh, whatever, not buy motorcycle, it's just those one with three wheels, whether you are using uh, uh, the buses, all these kind are the areas where you can get sick. Uh, because remember, People are thinking this disease is about someone to sneeze on you. No. If I touch my face, I touch myself like my tongue and go and maybe hold maybe like public transportation and hold like a seat and you are coming to touch the seat, you are going to touch yourself, obviously you are going to get it. I'm not expert. But there are so many things you have been reading 
from the expert, which I explain you what will be the cause, how can you, it can be transmitted from one person to another person. So those kind of masks cannot help you all the time. And I advise you not to wear this one because sometimes if something touches on the mask and you touch your mask, you touch your face, you touch whatever, you are going to be there. So hand sanitizer will be able to help you. But no matter all these kind of things, the problem we are having in Africa, we don't trust professional people. So the medical people who are experts and professional in these areas, people don't want to listen to them. Each person is talking about whatever ways their grandmother told them how to do it, to fight with the flu, they think they can fight with this one. Now they are coming, sending the messages, people, about, oh, the cure for corona is uh, garlic. If you eat garlic, whatever you mix with lemon or mix with honey, is going to take... This is not, a, it's not just cold, coughing, whatever. Remember, it is a virus. Very deadly virus. Do you think you in Ibuza Dar es Salaam, you in, uh, in Ujiji Kigoma, Tanzania, you in somewhere, whatever country you are, in your village, you think you are smarter enough to know that this corona can be cured by garlic or can be cured by eating uh, lemon? Really serious? Do you think China with the technology... Uh, Italy, US with all the technology, they didn't think about it, they didn't even work about using garlic. Let's take it seriously and let's be responsible. Let's avoid unnecessary movements. If you can be able to avoid them, please avoid them. And apart from that, let's, let's make sure that we are responsible to one another, not to transmit. In case you, I mean, sometimes you can be 10 days without no, symptoms to show, to, show, to show out that you have this disease. So no matter what, even if, don't just make unnecessary jokes, like that NBA, uh, NBA player, what he did, a stupid joke, went and touched the microphone, like he was joking around, and then he got corona, and all, some of the players got sick, and then the NBA season was suspended because of stupidity of one person. So don't make a joke, especially like this one, you are touching someone unnecessarily. Let's make sure that we create, we create a space. We don't have much of the behavior of having a uh, space. We know Africa, we like to talk, be closer to one another. That's our culture, togetherness, kind of those things. We have to be serious. And by being serious, don't go to the disco, don't go to the club. Why? I've seen like in Tanzania, Hamona is one of the big musicians in Tanzania, had a launch of the album two days ago. Why do you have a big launch of the album? Thousand and thousand people are attending in the middle of the corona, even if at that time we didn't have any case in Tanzania. But that is a risky, bold move. You are going to make it because if one person has it, how many people in that in that in, in, in that situation are going to uh, to be contacted and have this kind of disease? So let's make sure that we are making it very very seriously in so many ways, uh, and hopeful things will be able not to contain while the world or many places they are looking for cure, vaccination, and all other things. So let's trust the professionals and not let's joke around. This is a very serious thing. Oh, I cannot get this one because I'm African. I cannot do this because I, 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 I already, we, we have Ebola. You have this one. Forget about everything. Take it seriously because otherwise you are going to die unnecessary death. This is a very serious disease which we need to take care of. So thank you everyone and I wish you all the best and I pray for you and pray for me. For me, I've already started working online. Uh, I'm not working from, for, uh, I'm not working again, uh, our office, we are not working from the office, we are working from home. So nowadays I will be working from home 100%. And this is because we want to protect one another. Schools are being closed. We have seen in Kenya, they are closing the schools. I have seen other countries in Africa, Asia, Latin America, US, they are closing the schools, they are closing major events. So let's not take this lightly so that we can save, not only we can save ourselves, we can save our family, we can save our friends, we can save our community, we can save our country, we can save the planet Earth. So thank you everyone and all the best uh, in this type, type of situation. I wish you all the best and the May God protect you in this kind of disease. Thank you and goodbye.